a full gym at Clark University this morning to celebrate the life of a young coach, mentor and friend. Patrick Orozco died of cancer earlier this week. The gym where he played and coached was set up as if a basketball game was going to be played. And as our Brittany Schaefer tells us, it's exactly the way Orozco would have wanted it. Brittany. That's right, Olivia. Hundreds gathered in the stands dressed in red at Clark's basketball court. The scoreboard was even set to 25, which was Orozco's jersey number. Things that I, that I try to uh, incorporate into my uh, everyday life today um, are things that I learned from Pat. A sea of red at the Nether Athletic Center Friday to celebrate the life of Patrick Orozco. Orozco was diagnosed with stage 4 esophageal cancer last fall. The 34-year-old died Sunday. He certainly touched many, many people in many ways, and uh, it's, it's a tribute to him, certainly, and, and to our family uh, to have this kind of uh, extraordinary turnout. Orozco played on the men's basketball team at Clark University. He then continued with the team as assistant coach for the past seven years. Whether we lost at the buzzer or we um, won at the buzzer or a blowout win, he was always uh, maintained the same demeanor, which is admirable. As one of the uh, Clark staff just said to me, we don't get this many people for games. Orozco leaves behind his wife and two young children. Orozco's father, Patrick Orozco, says he touched the lives of more people than he could have imagined. And to be part of this whole community. Uh, he loved it and then they loved him back. He and Chris are the best sons a parent could ever have. Our relationship uh, off the court is what um, helped us uh, bond and, and, and uh, it bonded so tightly that, you know, we spoke daily um, up until um, last week. Those close to him remember how upbeat and gracious Orozco was while battling cancer. Even right on his last days, just easy to talk to, joking around a little, um, but just saying, you know, thank you to us. And, you know, our last words were, you know, thank you. So on last Friday, he was told that he was not going to survive and, 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 uh, he spent those next two days just being very warm and gracious to all the people who came to see him. And he was an inspiration. Now, Charlie says his son was a very positive and happy man and would want everyone else to continue on in the same way. Olivia, back to you. Thank you.